it's so short. Okay. Well, I know what you're all thinking. When did Clint Eastwood start doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> yep, yeah, I know. No, seriously, uh, since I've been, since I was in my 20s, people have been coming up to me and going, you know, you, you look like Clint Eastwood when he was younger. <laughs> they always got to add that, when he was younger. It's like, Clint's almost 90 and I'm still in my 50s. I, I hope when he was younger. I mean, it'd be a big insult if you uh, went the other way. Oh, but it did get me curious, so I tried that face app, the one that's supposed to uh, show you what you look like when you're older. And it turns, around, it turns out I look more like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Go ahead, make my day. No. It's not uh, but it does give me some incentive to stay in shape, because uh, I don't want people coming up to me and going, Hey, you look like Clint Eastwood, if he was fat. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a handyman. It's what I do to uh, pay the bills while I'm chasing the dream. I don't know what dream that is, but I'm chasing it. So it made me wonder, what, what if Clint Eastwood was a handyman? And somebody asked to borrow his drill. This here is a 44 Magnum cold cordless drill. The most powerful cordless drill in the world. It'll drill straight through a steel wall and take your arm right with it. You can borrow it. But you've got to ask yourself one question. Do you really need that arm? <laughs> So over the years, I've been compared to other celebrities. Some of them I just don't get. I, Willem Dafoe, they say, I, I don't, I've never seen it. But there's other ones. And lately, lately I've been getting um, Ed Harris. Nobody know Ed Harris from Westworld? Yeah. And the other one is uh, Kurtwood Smith. He's a red foreman from that 70s show. Everybody remember that? Yeah. Eric, don't be a dumbass. <laughs> so, uh, I was looking at him, I'm trying to figure it out. And it finally came to me. They don't have hair either. <laughs> Back when I did have a little bit of hair, I used to get uh, compared to uh, Jack Nicholson a lot. So I'm walking through Walmart one day. This guy comes up and he says, anybody ever tell you, you look like Jack Nicholson? I just looked at him and said, you know, I get that all the time. <laughs> and then I walked away. <laughs> He's still wondering. <laughs> so, uh, you probably noticed I like to dabble with the uh, impressions just a little bit. So I'm going to try a couple for you. You tell me if you, if you can tell who I'm doing. <clears throat> this is the first one. Well, I'm... Uh, Hot blooded, check it and see. Uh, I got a fever of a hundred and three. Come on, Nancy, do you do more than dance? I'm hot blooded. Anybody? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, there you go, that's right. Ronald Reagan doing foreigner, like he did with Gorbachev and all the other. <clears throat> uh, all right, how about this one? Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I be weaving yesterday. Ooh. <laughs> Anyone? Elmer. Elmer. <laughs> Close. Elmer. Elmer Fudd. Yeah, no, not Elmer Fudd. That's my Paul McCartney. <laughs> So, um, let's get off the impressions and on to my wife. <laughs> Sitting right down here. I'm not going to say she's forgetful, but she's always losing things. Yeah. The other day I get a call. 
Honey, I can't find my phone. Could you call it for me? Sure. Hang up. <laughs> so you can hear it ring. <laughs> or, honey, I can't find my glasses. Could you call them for me? <laughs> the uncanny thing, though, is that she can find other people's things. If they've lost it, she can find it. The other day she comes and says, Honey, I can't find my bra. I said, pretend it's mine. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> now, I really do love my wife. And uh, I can tell you, tell you how it went when we, when we first met, how she got me. She uh, looked at me and she said, you know, you look like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> if he was my future husband. Aww. Thank you very much. You've all been great. Appreciate it.